we're delighted to present this 10th Easter musical. And we have chosen some of the best of the past uh, music and drama from our other Easter musicals. And we believe you're going to be enjoying this one tonight. We have a cast of about 66 people who have been working very hard to make this a special night of your Easter. Memorable in every way. Of course, you know this is part of the greatest story ever told by the greatest about the greatest person who ever lived. And uh, Jesus is really the one who takes us out of our own personal darkness and brings us into His marvelous light. We trust that tonight you'll just sit back. And listen carefully to the Easter story as it's presented in a way you probably never heard of before. God bless you. Something special awaited me. 
Well, I went to the temple courts and I knew not what I would see or how I would determine which child among the many would be the hope of our nation. But I watched eagerly. As each child passed, I couldn't help asking, Lord, is this the one? What about that one? Look over there. Could that one be him? And then I saw a couple that stood out in the crowd. The woman had a bundle clutched close to her breast. She had such a peace, such an aura of anointings. I was as nervous as a schoolboy and as excited as a groom on his wedding day. I am Joseph, son of Jacob. We are here to dedicate our child, I heard the father say. Well, I reached tenderly for the infant in mother's arms and cradled him in my own. This was the Son of God. I, Simeon, held the future of eternity in my arms. This tiny being with his minuscule fist held the balance between heaven and earth. I held up the child to his heavenly Father and spoke, O oh, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you now dismiss your servant in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all people, a light for a revelation for the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. Well, I bent my head down and kissed the face of God. And then returned it to his earthly mother. My heart ached at the words I had to put a voice to. I looked from the father to the mother, wondering if this weight was more than any mortal couple could bear. This child is destined to cause the falling and rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be spoken against, so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed, and a sword will pierce through your own soul too. Now the mother's eyes were focused and accepting. The father's arms were protectively around her shoulders. I knew that God had prepared a special couple for his incomprehensible man. Simeon knew the Messiah immediately. It was now for the rest of them to learn. There was nothing extraordinary about his childhood. He grew up in a small town, in a loving home. He learned a trade of a carpenter, but there always seemed to be a depth of understanding in Jesus, beyond what could have been taught or learned. There was a sense of purpose in his early life that only grew stronger as he became a man. He did not wait for people to find him and ask to be his disciples. He found them 